Okay, now that we've seen what the shopping experience might look like for one of our customers, let's change gears and take a look at what the day-to-day -day management of your commerce site would look like with LifeRank. I'm now logged in as our commerce business user, Chris. And for this demonstration, we're combining several roles into a single user. However, LifeRank provides a very robust security model and fine-grained permissions that allows you to define exactly the roles you need to match your organization's needs. For example, if I were onboarding a new catalog manager that was going to be working with a specific product line, I could not only restrict access to just the commerce catalog feature, but I could also limit access to only the required catalog and the relevant products. But for this demonstration, my user will have access to all of LifeRay's features. Now, Minium has recently launched a new line of turbochargers, and we need to make a few updates to the catalog and the site to support the launch. The first thing we need to do is to enhance one of our product listings. So let's go into the product catalog and search for this new product. Now this product was initially imported from our product information management system, but now we would like to enrich this with imported product with content developed by our marketing team. Let's start by adding some translations. Now, just like the rest of the LifeRay Commerce platform, Commerce is fully localizable. In this case, we will just translate a couple of fields into one language, but you can see that LifeRay supports localization on all of the fields within the catalog, product details, the SEO fields, as well as product options, specifications, etc. Next, let's go ahead and update our product media. Our marketing department has provided us with some additional images that they'd like associated with the product, as well as an installation guide. Now, in this case, I'm going to be searching for an image in LifeRay's document and media repository. We'll provide an alternate view as well as uh, an internal view of the turbocharger. And then we will also go ahead and attach the installation guide. Great. Now you can see there are a lot of other fields that we could update if we needed to. Uh, again, if our product information management system had all of this data, we could have imported all of it. Uh, but the nice thing about LifeRay is that we can leverage those other LifeRay DXP features, things like the document and media repository, to enrich this product content. Now, of course, we could also do things like uh, establish product relations for upsell or cross-sell opportunities. Uh, we could adjust product visibility if there are products that only certain markets or certain accounts should be able to see, as well as updating product prices, um, specifications, options, etc. Now that the product listing has been enriched, let's take a look at creating a special product display page to support the product launch. Now, up to this point, we've been working at the global level. This allows us to create catalogs and products that can be sold through multiple channels. Now we're going to focus specifically on the Minium channel, which is associated with a LifeRay site. So we'll go into the Minium site builder, and I've already created a product launch page for the turbocharger, and let's edit that page. Now right now there isn't any content on the page. I'm going to be leveraging LifeRay's CMS features along with commerce features to create that customer experience that we're looking for. Now we have a variety of different sections and components that are available to us. Uh, I'm going to start by using one of the product launch um, components that the marketing team created. And this is a reusable piece of content. So whenever I need to create a new product launch page, I could reuse this content and I could select a relevant image. And I could update the product copy here as well. And I can also use um, content fragments that are more complete. So in the first case, it was more of a template, but I can also have content fragments that are, um, that are ready to go. Let me first put on a layout section here so we can divide this up. 
And I've got a little um, piece of content that was created for me for the installation guide as well as a sales guide. So just some things that uh, our B2B buyers might be interested in. Now, all of this features, all of the features up to this point have been content management features, but we can easily mix and match with commerce features. In this case, I'm going to go into the widgets and I'm going to select a commerce widget, uh, specifically the product detail widget to put on this page as well. Uh, once we've got the page laid out, uh, and again, you'll have to excuse my, my design skills here, uh, but once we've got the page laid out, we can publish it and we can go into the Minium channel and we can tell Minium that whenever we need to display this specific product, we would like to use our turbocharger launch page. So that's already been done for us. So let's go back to the storefront now and we'll search for our turbocharger. And there it is. And whenever we view this product, we are gonna get that special product launch experience uh, as opposed to the standard product display uh, template that we might have regularly. Now, if we take a look, we can see those alternate images. Uh, we can also see the product attachment that we added as well. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.